Gwen Stefani is known for being the lead singer in a pop rock band called No Doubt. Recently, she's collaborated with Urban Decay and made a palette that is just as beautiful and out of this world as she is. I hope you enjoy this makeup look using her brand new palette. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the new Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. And I got this about a week ago. I ordered it online once it first came out. And I got it as soon as I could because I love Gwen Stefani and I also love the colors that are in this palette. And as you can see, there's so many awesome colors in here. There's a pink, gold, blue, and of course they have a black and then they have a creamy color, which are the colors that I just love to have in my palette because those are so amazing for the first steps of your makeup and then the black to make it super intense. So I'm so happy with this palette and I definitely think that you guys should check this out. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to be online. I'm pretty sure it's already online on Sephora.com, but I will double check to make sure. But this is such an awesome palette and I just, I love the packaging of it. I think it's so cool and I think it's awesome that she collaborated with Urban Decay and picked out all these awesome shades to make this super amazing palette. So I'm going to show you guys a look with this. This is going to be like a more glamorous, um, but kind of on the neutral side look. I did incorporate the black and um, the shimmery shade called Pop and that's like a really pretty champagne shade. It's like one of my favorite shades in the entire palette. I also pair this with like a berry red lip because I noticed that Gwen does like to wear a more like darker lip when she does like a neutral eye and I just see her always wearing like a reddish color so I decided to pair that with this look. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and please stay tuned if you want to know how to get this look. Okay so first I'm going to be priming my skin with my Revlon Photo Ready Primer and I love this primer. This is an amazing primer from the drugstore. I suggest you guys check this out if you're looking for a new mattifying primer. Next, I'm gonna use this Cogendo Illuminator and also my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm also using this Artist Brush, which is awesome for applying foundation. It doesn't soak up your foundation at all. It actually just keeps it on the brush and it gives a nice even finish. It just smooths it out really nice and I love it. So next I'm going to apply my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay, my all-time favorite. I've bought this twice already because I just love it so, so much and this is in light neutral. After I'm done applying this, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it out with a beauty blender, just blending this out really nicely so it's not too cakey and I'm just bringing that towards my hairline and dragging it out in a highlighting motion. Next, I'm going to be setting my foundation with my Makeup Forever Compact, and this is in the shade 117. And I really like this because it is not super cakey or thick. It just sets your makeup super nice and preps it for the contour and highlight. Next, I'm gonna set my under eye area with my Kat Von D Contour Kit. And I have to say, I've tried a lot of different contour kits. I've looked at all different kinds, trying to find the perfect one. And I always come back to my Kat Von D Contour Kit. It is just amazing, the pigmentation, there's nothing like it. And if you guys know of one that's super good besides that one, let me know. I really, really like this one and I like the Anastasia Contour Kit, but this one by far is my favorite and I bought it twice already because I love it so much. I've hit pan on those two light shades. They're just amazing. Next, I'm going to be bronzing up my face and contouring a little bit. I'm using my Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and this Tarte Contour Brush. I'm just going in and bronzing up the skin and also contouring a little bit. Next, I'm gonna take my Anastasia So Hollywood Highlighter and I'm just giving myself a nice subtle glow because Gwen doesn't really go super hard with the highlighter, she just gives herself a nice glow. Next, I'm gonna take my Milani blush and this is in Romantic Rose. I really like this blush because it is very natural but it gives a nice rose glow. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows as usual. I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow and this is in Medium Brown. And for the best part of the tutorial, I'm using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. And I will show you guys some of the colors inside. They are super, super beautiful. I'm going to prime my lids with my Kat Von D High Voltage Eyeshadow Primer. And then I'm setting them with a peachy shade in the Kat Von D Contour Kit. This is just, just going to make them not as sticky. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Zone. And this is from the palette. This is like a cool tone brown. I think it's really, really beautiful. I'm just doing this in windshield wiper motions and I'm using a Morphe brush to do this.
Next, I'm gonna take this beautiful champagne shimmery color called Pop, and I wet my brush with a little bit of NYX Dewy Skin Spray, and you could use eye drops, you could use Fix Plus, anything like that. You could even use a little bit of water. This is just gonna make it super pigmented, and this is just a really beautiful champagne color. It just looks so sparkly, and it's very subtle, but it's still super sparkly when you look at it, and I really love it. So next I'm going to take the color Stark and I'm just applying this right above where I put that transition shade. This is just going to soften it out and make it nice and even. Next I'm going to do a little bit of wing liner and I always see Gwen wearing winged liner. I haven't seen her not wearing it when she gets super glam, especially on the voice. I always see her with this look, so I wanted to kind of incorporate a wing into this look. She keeps it super neutral on the eyes and then she kind of goes in with a red lip or a reddish cherry pinkish lip, so that's exactly what I did in this tutorial. And if you guys are wondering how I do my eyeliner, I did a video recently on winged liner. Check that out if you want some tips on how to do it. Next, I'm going to take the shade Blackout from the Gwen Stefani palette and I'm just taking a little pencil brush and I'm applying this into my crease. This is just gonna make this even more glamorous. I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm blending that out. And you could just go step by step with the black. You don't wanna put too much or else it's gonna be overpowering. Just take a little bit at a time and then keep blending it out. And that's the key to getting this neutral smoky look. You just wanna add a little bit and then blend out. Next, I'm going to take this lip liner, and this is like a beautiful rose color, and this is by Dior. I will list the name of it in the description box, but it's like a perfect pink for this lipstick that I'm about to apply. I'm just lining my lips like I normally do. Next, I'm going to apply the liquid lipstick by Kat Von D, and this is called Bachelorette. I just love this color, and I don't really see a lot of people wearing it, but I always thought it was super beautiful, and it's very Gwen. Next, I'm going to apply these Red Cherry Lashes. I really love these because they're just super doll-like and I just like the way that they look and I think they go perfect with this look. You can skip this step if you are not into applying fake lashes. I still think this look would look beautiful without them. I'm just applying this for a more glamorous effect. And to blend my fake lashes with the false lashes, I'm just applying a little bit of CoverGirl Mascara. And that is it for this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and please stay tuned for more tutorials that are coming soon. Alright guys, that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it, and definitely check out this palette because it is super amazing, and I think you guys will really like it. Thank you so much for watching, and please comment below if you have any ideas for my next tutorial.